And thank you for joining us at First Christian Church in Wilmington, Ohio, and our Flannel Graph Sunday School lesson. My name is Carol, and I have today with me Abigail Grace. Abigail Grace. And today we're going to talk about God's laws in Exodus 19. So God's laws. It was now three months since the Israelites had escaped from slavery in Egypt. They were camping in the desert of Sinai in front of a great mountain. On the morning of the third day, thunder and lightning filled the sky. A dark cloud covered the mountaintop. Then came a loud trumpet blast that made the people shake with fear. God was in the cloud. He called for Moses to come up to the top of the mountain. There he gave Moses the laws he wanted the people to follow. I am the Lord your God who brought you out of Egypt, out of the land of slavery. You shall have no other gods before me. Honor your father and mother. You shall not murder. You shall not steal. God gave Moses many other rules for how the Israelites should behave. Moses was on the mountain for 40 days and 40 nights. The people started to worry and be afraid. They needed something to make them feel safe. Aaron told the people to give him the gold earrings they had taken out of Egypt. They melted the jewelry and made a small image of a calf. He told them the golden calf was their God who had led them out of Egypt. Then Moses came down from the mountain. He was carrying two stone tablets that God's laws were written on. The people were dancing around the golden calf. When Moses saw this, he exploded in anger. The people were already breaking one of God's laws. Moses lifted up the stone tablets and threw them to the ground. They broke into pieces. Then he destroyed the golden calf. Moses was sorry he had smashed the tablets of God's laws. He went back up the mountain. God said he would forgive the people. He would give the laws to Moses again. He would keep his promise and take the people to the land of milk and honey. Moses stayed on the mountain for another 40 days and 40 nights. When he came down, he had the two new tablets of God's laws. God had told Moses to have the people build a holy place, a tabernacle, where they could worship him. The people built the tabernacle just as God wanted it. They made a wooden box to hold the tablets of God's laws. It had a special place inside the tabernacle. Then God's cloud came over the tabernacle. It stayed with the people on their journey. When the cloud lifted, the people moved. They folded up the tabernacle and took it with them. When the cloud stopped, the people stopped. They did not set out again until the cloud moved on before them. And so God led them nearer to the land he had promised to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob many hundreds of years ago. So thank you for joining us today. We hope you've enjoyed hearing a little more about Moses and how he now has the Ten Commandments from God, knows how we should live as a people and as a group, and they are moving on to the promised land. So we'll say a uh, little bit of word of prayer. You want to help me? Yeah. Okay. Dear God. Dear God. Thank you for showing us the light and the way. Thank you for showing us light in the way. And thank you for always being there for us. Thank you for always being there for us. Amen. Amen.